joined this morning by Katrina Standingford, Director and Founder of Brand Financial Training. And we're going to understand a little bit more today about Katrina's background and the reason why she began the Brand Financial Training business. Thank you for joining me. No worries. So I wondered if you could start us off by telling us a little bit about um, yourself and your background um, before you came to start Brand Financial Training. Oh, goodness. Right. So um, going back many, many years, back to the olden days, as my kids <laughs> tell me, apparently the like, 80s and 90s are the olden days. Um, right. <laughs> um, I actually uh, was an IT consultant. I went to university, did an IT degree and was an IT consultant for a few years. Um, which was awesome, got to travel around the world a bit, but it got to the point where it was like, you know, I've had enough of this traveling and I'm really bored. Um, so I was always interested in financial stuff. So ultimately I ended up retraining as a financial advisor um, and ended up ultimately working for a very well-known um, investment advisory service based in Bristol. Um, I then, uh, so I then got qualified and then I had my first child. Um, the downside being that unfortunately that employer treated me like my brain had fallen out of my ear when I was pregnant. So awesome. <laughs> but you know, you know, every, every cloud has a silver lining because then ultimately um, when my eldest was one, um, I went to work for a bank as a, what they called certainly the time of financial planning manager, which was um, also a very, very eye-opening experience. Um, but that also prompted me, so those two experiences, whilst I'm very interested in financial services, um, two very, very different experiences with very, very, you know, different learnings involved. Mm. Um, I saw a gap in the market for uh, help with financial services exams, like I'd been sitting myself. Um, and decided that I would try and fill it. Okay. <laughs> so I, I guess it's a good mixture of, you know, the, my financial services experience and my, you know, IT background, um, which has, has ended up where we are today, like 14 years later. I can't believe it's 14 years. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, so that's my, that's kind of a, a very small sh snapshot of my background. Fantastic. So you said you noticed a, a, a gap in the market and decided to to start brand. But what was it that, that made you think that this was something that would be really helpful and supportive to the wider you know, industry when it comes to, to financial qualifications? So, I mean, at the time, you know, I was I was working amongst people who were doing various levels of exams. And at that time, there was one other. So we were doing CII exams. Um, and they provided at that time a little bit of help, but not a lot. Um, and there was one other uh, resource provider um, kind of at that time at a very low level providing resources, which was, you know, an absolute godsend at the time. But for sure, it was like that so much more could be done. And I knew yeah. it wasn't just from conversations with colleagues. I knew it wasn't just me. You know, we were all kind of, oh, God, you know, got to, got to, you know, study for what was the equivalent of RO1 back then. And let's face it, RO1 is a little bit, you know, tedious, shall we say. Wow. <laughs> and say, oh, surely this can be made more interesting. Um, yeah, so I, I knew it wasn't just me and that there were plenty of people that I knew that were looking for things and they kind of extrapolate from there and go, well, if it's just, you know, it's not, can't just be us in this organisation. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of uh, closed my eyes and jumped <laughs> to see what would happen. And it was, you know, great timing as well, I guess, that there was there was the demand and there still is. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. So when it comes to your goal, um, what is your goal when you're helping brand financial trainings clients? So I, I think the whole thing with exams and, and I know that even going back to school days, you know, you have some people who are amazing at exams. It's it's almost like they do nothing all year. And then the night before they sit in front of some books and then they, you know, pass with flying colors. Now, some of them might have a photographic memory or some of them, that's just the way it is. And then you get some people who absolutely have a solid knowledge and understanding of the subject, but they just get into the exam room or in front of the computer or whatever it is these days and they freak out. 
and you know the, the amount of stress and so I know that I know that not all exams are exams some are actually more coursework based now but most are exams and personally I think even you know at the very base level they are actually unfair because some people are better at exams than others and it it doesn't mean you know if you're passed with flying colors everything it doesn't actually mean you're a fantastic advisor or whatever your job is also doesn't right. mean you're not fantastic because you might be <laughs> but then you also get people who have struggled to pass exams with years and years and years of solid experience who cl- clearly are you know intelligent good at their job genuinely know what they're doing um but they just struggle with the exams or they struggle with for example ro2 you have you know you have to understand all these complex formulae and have them in your head and you know you can definitely argue well really do you really need all those in in your head well for the exam you do but in in you know do you from day to day so you know instead of i i can't you know wave a magic wand and make the whole system fairer in that way but we can do what we can to help people through the exams, which is why at Brand Financial Training, we provide a wide range of resources for exams so that, you know, hopefully there's at least one, if not more resources that suits yeah. different people. So, you know, some people love listening to things. So we have audio masterclasses. Some people hate that, you know, some people actually do <laughs> like to read, a, you know, a, a study text and that's cool. And so, you know, we have revision notes for that kind of thing. So yeah, my goal really is to make, make it as easy as possible to get through, through uh, the various exams that there are. Brilliant. I know I've appreciated your learning material for a long time. Uh, <laughs> That's good can I ask what do you, you might've already answered this, but what do you think makes brand financial training different compared to other resource providers out there? Um, so, I mean, there are quite a, in the past couple of years since the you know pandemic in 2020 um there have been more mostly people providing learning resources uh for exams and cii exams in particular um i think what makes us different is well first of all we've been around for 14 years um we were one of the first in that space now that doesn't make us that doesn't automatically say oh you've been around forever therefore you must be the best nobody should ever think that mm-hmm. But of course we are. <laughs> but, <laughs> quickly say that. But um, obviously, we do have that fourteen years worth of experience. We do have fourteen years worth of making some mistakes and you know and improving on things. Um, mm-hmm. You know, some of our you know we started out just doing mock papers, which we built on over you know some of the exams. They've been around fourteen years, so you know we've built on them. Um, we've also you know we've got people on the team who've been with us for a long, long time as well. So. Um, and some that are very new too. So we're getting the new ideas in, but we've also got the experience. And I think one thing that we have seen is that there seem, sometimes there's a belief that you can just throw together a resource, whether it's a mock paper or revision notes or something, you know, you literally can just throw them together. That'll do, people will buy it, off you go. Now, yes people might come and buy it especially if it's seen as cheap but is it actually a good resource or actually are you wasting your money on on something that's not good and you know there are a wide variety of quality of resources out there so for us um we certainly we focus on quality resources and you know sometimes we get it wrong and when we do you know we hold our hands up and go sorry guys you know this isn't working right or whatever. And then we'll, you know, we'll change tack or we'll, you know, we'll change things around. We're always listening to what our customers say. We're always asking for feedback so that we are doing and providing what our customers need. So we do focus on whether, you know, it's somebody who's writing materials or our customer service team or whatever. It's focused on the customer, not on us being a business trying to sell things, which of course we are. I'm not pretending we're not, you know, we're not a charity, but it, it's it's providing quality resources for the customer that genuinely quality resources for the customer and listening to them. And I hate to say it, also genuinely caring. Everybody says that these days, don't they? Of course. They just say, <laughs> everybody says, oh, yeah, we really care. Well, do you know what? I think the past 14 years have proven that we actually do. Yeah. So, yeah. Very good. Right. So that in mind, then, what are your future plans for brand? Interesting. So, um, 
Future plans, uh, we, because we're a small team, we can move quite quickly in terms of, you know, what we provide. And therefore, we, by listening to customers and getting their feedback, our, our plans for the future are to provide what our customers want. So, for example, at the moment, the, the move seems to be more to digital learning. Now, we have always provided downloads for our resources. That's one thing we've done for 14 years now, which, you know, 14 years ago was actually quite relatively new, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're focusing now on creating new resources in a more digital way. So, for example, we're working um, on eMocs. So rather than just having uh, mock papers as a document that you print out or look at on screen, um, yeah. you go online and you answer the questions online, much as you would do certainly for multiple choice questions in an exam. Um, we've done audio masterclasses for quite a while. We've also done some e-learning, but we're, we're looking at moving, moving around a bit in that, trying out different things. Again, you know, some customers have made suggestions as to what would really work well for them. So we're going to try them out as well. So in terms of future plans, we're going to keep moving on. Things, things will change. Um, but you know we'll we'll keep focusing on what what we as a business focus on which is providing learning resources yeah yeah fantastic so final question then can you tell me what's your favorite thing about being brand financial trainings uh, director and founder um so for me personally there i mean as I said earlier, I can't believe it's been 14 years. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, it's like I'm getting really old now. Um, it's seeing, because I started the business from nothing on my own and just seeing it grow through starting off on my own, um, paying myself nothing <laughs> because, yeah. you know, you've got to build it from nothing. Okay. Um and then seeing it grow into, it's, it's a small business, which is exactly how I want it to be. Um, we're, you know, um, we're a small business, but having a great team and now we're all working together. So the business has grown and, the, and I've been very careful to keep the business in a way that I think best serves the team and our customers. Cause I think, I think both are really important. So, you know, I, I have no plans to suddenly expand in, you know, and world domination or anything because that's not really what I'm about or what I'm interested in, but also it also gives me, um, there are times when it's crazy busy um, and there are times when it's a bit quieter, but if that gives me opportunities to do other things as well, and it's only in recent times I've been to do other things, but, um, so I'm also for how long, just over a year now, I've been a non-executive director and the vice chair of Capsule, which is non-financial services related company. Um, it's a subsidiary of a housing association. Um, so it's to do with, uh, property maintenance, construction development, that kind of thing. And that's great for me because I, I'm always, I love to learn things all the time. So for me, that was learning a whole new um, kind of area um, whilst also being able to use the skills I've built up in brand financial training, like strategy and all that kind of thing. Um, and then also the simple things in life, because it gives you the flexibility of, you know, my kid has a school sports day or a, or a play. So I can go and see that and do my work in the evening or whatever. And as a team, we're all very flexible anyway. Yeah. So I think, I think having my own business is awesome, but, but having said that, sometimes it's also really hard. <laughs> so, you know, there are ups and downs and, you know, we started out as paying myself nothing and, and, and the understanding of, you know, it doesn't just land on your feet, you know, <laughs> you have to work hard at it. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us and thank you for joining me today. Um, those of you watching, I hope you found that interesting and insightful and we'll see you next time.